What is going on, everybody? Sports expert here, and here we are here with week six NFL power rankings. So before we start the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Turn on that post notification bell. Like the video. Comment what you think. I would appreciate that, guys. That helps us in the algorithm, and that helps us as in the community as a whole. So I would really appreciate that, guys. So let's get started with the power rankings as I'll try to go quick as possible. Not going to take too much time, but just going to get these rankings. So... At 32, I have the Carolina Panthers. They just fired Matt Rule today. You know, the Panthers aren't in the craziest spot. You know, I could have done this power rankings video earlier, but I waited some time just because, you know, kind of tired. And the thing is, uh, you know, there was just a lot of news coming. I was like, um, we'll see where these teams should be ranked. And the Panthers should be ranked 32. They fired their coach now, and they're just in a lot of, you know, they're in shambles. So give me the Panthers at 32. Baker's now hurt as well. At 31, I have the Detroit Lions. They're coming off a 29-0 loss against the Patriots. Defense is horrible, and that just brings a lot of questions to Dan Campbell. Is he really the guy? At 30, the Pittsburgh Steelers, they lost 38-3 to the Bills. They were 14-point underdogs. It'll probably be Mike Tomlin's first year going under 500. The Steelers just look very, very terrible. At 29, I have the Washington Commanders. They lost to the Titans at home, but they didn't play too bad. It was a close game, but, you know, Carson Wentz just keeps failing to get the job done so the commanders have a short week see what they can do at 28 i have the houston texans they're coming off their first win versus the jaguars on the road good win they played very well defensively damian pierce had a solid game you know so i think the texans can build off of this and you know we'll see what they can do down the stretch at 27 i have the chicago bears they are coming off a Win uh, a loss versus the Vikings. They almost won, though. You know, almost another choke from the Vikings wouldn't have been shocking at all. But, yeah, but not surprising the Bears lost that game. Bears played Washington Thursday night in a short week as well. So, we'll see what, uh, if Justin Fields can respond. At 26, I have the New England Patriots coming off that big win versus the Lions. You know, Bailey Zappi played fine. They go to Cleveland next week. That'll be a test. At 25, I have the Seattle Seahawks. They are coming off a 39-32 loss versus the New Orleans Saints. Geno Smith played a great game, but just wasn't enough. The defense was Swiss cheese. And yeah. At 24, I have the Denver Broncos coming off a terrible Thursday night football loss versus the Colts. I'm just not 100% sold on that um, Denver team. It just doesn't seem that great. So yeah, I mean, Russell Wilson's hurt now as well. At 23, I got the Jacksonville Jaguars coming off a tough loss versus the Texans. Trevor Lawrence struggled. Hopefully, uh, Doug Peterson get this team on his back, but they're going to need to, you know, do some work. At 22, I have the Cleveland Browns. They are coming off a tough loss versus the Chargers. Cade York missed two big field goals, and Jacoby Brissett had a terrible interception, which cost the Browns. So, yeah, the Browns will look ahead to next week as – um. They play the Patriots, and they made a trade after the game, according to Deion Jones. At 21, I have the Arizona Cardinals. They are coming off a tough 20-17 loss versus the Eagles. Another Cliff Kingsbury game. Him and Kyler Murray just not on the same page. I think they got to move on from Kingsbury at some point. Just, I don't see it. At 20, I have the Las Vegas Raiders. They play Monday night here versus the Chiefs, going into 1-3, and three, trying to get to 2-3. and three. At 19, I have the Indianapolis Colts. They are coming off that win versus the Broncos. Sloppy win. You know, Colts don't look like a great team, but they'll get some guys back from injury once they play Sunday versus Jacksonville, and they can definitely build off from that win. At 18, I have the Atlanta Falcons coming off a ripoff loss versus the Buccaneers. That roughing the passer was not roughing the passer on Grady Jarrett. So Falcons could have had a chance to win there. They got absolutely screwed. Looked like they got to stop, but, yeah, got to give Tom Brady his way. At 17, I have the New York Jets. They are coming off. A big 40-17 to win versus the Skylar Thompson Dolphins. Just not a great game for Miami. Ta Teddy got hurt. Tyree Kill was injured. Just lost a lot out there. And the Jets were able to take care of him easily, especially with defense. At 16, I have the New Orleans Saints coming off that win versus the Seahawks, 39-32. Taysom Hill had an incredible game. They'll probably use him much more uh, once Jameis Winston's back as well. And that'll help the Saints for sure. He might be that hidden gem that helps him get to the playoffs. At 15, I have the Los Angeles Rams, and he's a quarterback. He was a quarterback, so Taysom Hill was basically an athlete playing quarterback because he was good at everything but quarterback. 
At 15, I have the Rams here. Coming off a loss versus the Cowboys, man, Matthew Stafford just looks like a shell of himself right now. Not sure if he's... I don't know how bad his injuries are. I know there's some issues going on, but man, it's not looking good. At 14, I have the Tennessee Titans. They are coming off a... The win versus the Commanders, 21-17. You know, sloppy game from the Titans, but overall it was fine. I thought that game would be much more high scoring, but I believe it was 38. I think it did hit the under, so... You know, Tannehill, you know, did enough as a game manager to win this one. But the Titans, yeah. I mean, they... I'm not too sure in the Titans. At 13, I have the Green Bay Packers. They are coming off a bad loss in London versus the, the Giants. Man, Packers look sloppy. Really sloppy right now. They almost lost to Bailey Zappi in Lambo last week. They played sloppy at times, and they just played really sloppy in this one. They got to get things going. This Green Bay team is heading down... Trending down right now. Worst start since Matt LaFleur was hired. Man. At 12, I got the Cincinnati Bengals coming off a 19-17 loss versus the Ravens. I mean, they took the lead versus the Ravens. There's not much you can do, though. But Justin Tucker could hit an 80-yarder to win the game. Who cares? So, it could be. I mean, that's how crazy it is. So, you know, the Bengals. Joe Burrow struggled in the first half. But, you know, kind of got it together later in the first half and earlier in the second half. So, yeah, but. Bengals, Ravens, should be some solid teams this year. At 11, I have the Los Angeles Chargers coming off that window versus the Browns. Brandon Staley, man, he's just, what's going on with him? I just don't see it. I mean, he is just, he almost gave the Browns that game away. Luckily, uh, Cade York missed the game-winning field goal. So the Chargers, they are now 3-2 and two somehow, even though they haven't played like a 3-2 and two team. But, yeah. And there's even a lot of Chargers fans crying for J.C. Jackson to be cut, which is crazy. The Bill Belichick way. At 10, I have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They are coming off a 21-15 win over the Falcons. Um, you know, the refs t helped them win that game, but hey, it is what it is. So The Buccaneers. Got the win. Tom Brady still not playing great football. That Buccaneers team looks sloppy too, but they're getting ways, finding ways to win. They have the same record as Green Bay. At nine, I have the Miami Dolphins. The only reason why I don't move Miami too much is because they do have injuries, which is very understandable. They're still a very solid football team. Just got to get healthy. At eight, I have the Baltimore Ravens coming off that big win versus the Bengals. Much needed. They are now first in the AFC North. So, yeah, give me the uh, Ravens here. I think they're going to win the division. Marcus Williams is going to be out for a while, so that really hurts. Dislocated wrist. It's not season-ending, though. At 7, I have the Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings are coming off a... Um, and another thing about the Dolphins, their defense is just very poor. So the Vikings, they almost choked another game to the Bears. It doesn't matter who the head coach is. The Vikings just love to almost choke or choke. So, But that's a result of Kirk Daniel Cousins. So just not ideal there. I got the win. At 6, I have the San Francisco 49ers. That defense is absolutely dominant. Jimmy G played well. The receiving core is helping out. Debo Samuel, Jawan Jennings, Brandon Ayuk, George Kittle. Everybody's getting the job done. Like what I'm seeing from Kyle Shanahan's team. Are they? I can't remember. If I think they're 4-1. and one. No, they're 3-2. and two, The 49ers. At 5, I have the New York Giants. They are coming off that big win versus the Packers. People are going to say they're the worst 4-1 and one team ever. Come on. They're a great team right now. They didn't have any of their receivers, really. They had a couple guys, but, you know, they were missing a few guys. They are missing Tony, Galladay, Shepard. So, this Giants team, Brian Dable's done a great job. I told everyone about Brian Dable three years ago. At four, I have the Dallas Cowboys coming off that big win versus the Rams on the road. It was kind of like a home game for them because of all their fans. But, man, that defense is absolutely dominant. Dan Quinn should be the first call for any team looking for a head coach. No doubt about it. I mean... Dude is a great coach. He's always been a great coach. So, yeah. And Cooper Rush is now 4-0. If, if Dak Prescott comes back and they lose, oh, my gosh. The uh, the outrage on Twitter is going to be crazy. At 3, I have the Kansas City Chiefs. come. They are playing Monday Night Football. They play the Raiders tonight at home. You know, should be a good game there. And at 2, I have the Buffalo Bills coming off that 30-3 win versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pretty solid win for Buffalo, you know. No flaws. I mean, pretty expected win. I didn't expect them to win 38-3. to I don't know. Maybe there were some people. So, yeah. And at one, I have the Philadelphia Eagles, the only undefeated team in the league. They are now 5-0. and No surprise there that they're one. As Jalen Hurts has done a great job. He's ran the ball well. 
He's his accuracy is definitely improved. That wide receiver core is definitely helping with AJ Brown, Devontae Smith, etc. So yeah, give me the Eagles at one. So I appreciate everyone being here. Those are my power rankings this week. Once again, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Turn on the post notification bell. Like the video. Comment what you think. I'm out, guys. Sports expert here. Peace.